Hello everybody, today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Chrysler 300C. Starting off up front, you are going to have the LED accent C-channel style lights, as well as LED projectors and incandescent turn signal. LED fog lights are included as well. Your parking sensors are going to be up top with cross path detection. Really nice blacked out grayish style grille with your new 300C badge on the driver's side. This guy does have the uh, lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control, as well as pretty much every safety feature imaginable. Really beautiful white and gloss black. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Goodyear Eagle RS A's. And I believe the tire size is a 20 inch, or 20 inch wheel, 20 inch tire massive red uh, Brembo brakes, color matched mirror caps again with that gloss black accent trim throughout, blind spot monitoring is included, you have passive entry so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver's side or passenger side door. Coming to the rear we have the signature iconic 300 style LED tail lamps. Your blacked out 300C logo is going to be on the passenger side. Absolutely beautiful looking vehicle. Your blacked out Chrysler logo with your backup camera right here in the third brake light. Parking sensors are going to be integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper right above your dual exhaust. Little wing or splitter on the back as well. Right here we have your lockable capless fuel fill cap. Very, very beautiful car. I wish that Chrysler would do a little bit more performance stuff with this like they do with the uh, Charger. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over here on the driver's side, we have your lock and unlock buttons as well as all your window controls. The front windows are automatic up and down, and then in front of that we have your mirror controls. Over here we have the dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, as well as your ambient lighting. And then this is your trunk release button. Coming up top to the instrument cluster, we have a beautiful blue LED lit instrument cluster with your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a beautiful LCD display in the middle. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with mild but, but thick and long bolsters at 10 and 2. Metal paddle shifters that are steering wheel mounted. This control pad right here controls the center uh, LCD display. Then we have your steering wheel mounted uh, phone call buttons. On the right side, we have the cruise control buttons as well as your adaptive cruise control buttons analog clock above the touchscreen display. This has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Unfortunately, the radio is locked, so I won't be able to show you much, but it does have climate as well. Push button starts gonna be right here. All the physical buttons for the touchscreen display are gonna be right here. I believe this has the 6.4 liter V8, and so you do have launch control right here as well as your different drive modes. Um, if it wasn't locked, it would show up there as well as here. Under that, you have your physical buttons for the dual zone climate control. Right here we have a felt lined storage compartment with a 12 volt outlet. Little uh, pen or pencil storage right there. And then the rotary dial shifter uh, with sport mode. Behind that, you're gonna have two glove box, uh, two, uh, what is it called? Cup holders, sorry it's been a long day. And then I believe these are your uh, either cooled cup holders or heated cup holders, which is pretty cool. I think that's a first for uh, Chrysler. Behind that you have some chain storage as well as two USBs as well as an auxiliary jack. Really nice 300C leather seats with very aggressive bolsters to keep you planted at speed. Pretty big glove box with a shelf up top. Coming up to the vanity, it's gonna be incandescent lit for passenger as well as your driver. Up top, we have your incandescent dome map lights, three door universal garage remote, as well as all of the buttons and controls for the twin pane sunroof. 
In front of that, you have glasses storage, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror with your assistant SOS buttons on it. Um, overall, I really do like the interior of this vehicle. I love the blue accent LED lighting. Um, it does seem a little bit uh, more basic than a uh, Dodge Charger, but nonetheless, it's still a very nice uh, interior. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have maybe four inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats, rear air conditioning vents, heated seats, as well as two USB ports. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder that is ambient lit, as well as a storage compartment right here. Because you have the twin pane sunroof, your grab handles and incandescent dome map lights are gonna be pushed to the outside of the headliner. But even with the twin pane sunroof, I still have a couple inches of headroom before my uh, head hits the top of the headliner. Something that I love about the 300, um, and it's been the 300 for a very long time, is the, the seats in the back are just so comfortable. I don't have a bunch of legroom back here, but it reminds me of getting into like an old nice broken in i don't know like crown vic it may not be for everybody but when you get into the back seats you just kind of sink in a little bit and they kind of mold up around you it feels really really good in my opinion but that's the back seats let's take a look at the trunk and see how much legroom we have so to open the trunk on this vehicle you're actually going to come up to the right side of the third brake light push the button and it will automatically open for you you have an absolutely massive trunk in this vehicle, incandescent cargo lights, and you have these little hanger hooks for grocery bags, tons and tons of space. Under here, it looks like you have the battery because of the massive 6.4 liter V8, as well as where your spare tire would go if you had one. To close it, you just slam it shut, and you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2023 Chrysler 300C starting at $55,000. Features a standard 6.4 liter Hemi V8 with 485 horsepower and 475 foot-pounds of torque. Zero to 16 under four and a half seconds. And for a big four-door sedan like this, that's pretty good in my opinion. Dual pane sunroof, 20 inch wheels, 300C standard sport tuned suspension and steering. Lots of cool standard features with this vehicle. So there it is, 2023 Chrysler 300C. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date on more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.